Valentis, and I'm doing a Sancha 5 out of 10, and it's called Sancha's Nation Neural Something Something. Well, if you click warp to it and it says 5 out of 10, that's the correct one. You need heaps of tank for this. It should show up here, because the last room does a lot of damage. And sometimes I have, a, have to overheat my modules. I don't have um, a crystal set, so I don't have bonus on my wrapping, but I can tank a punch. I can look it up later and write it in the description on how much. I can also link the fit in the description. Alright, so this is the second room. You don't need to shoot anything there. In the first room, you shoot just everything. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, the damage. <laughs> I should have been aligned and not bumping the gate. <laughs> That could cost you your ship. Alright, so what I do in the last room. As soon as I land, I look at stuff where I could align to that is somewhat diagonal to those all of those ships because I want to have transversal velocity. But, issue. There's going to be webbing towers, so I'm going to click Control and spam left click, left, mou left mouse click on this webbing button. Gonna pre-use my weapons. Gonna get my drones out. Gonna look for the final boss. Sancha Slave something Etion. They're still in the locking phase, so in the beginning you don't get the full DPS. But if you get the full DPS and you are webbed, then you are pretty fucked. At least in this fitting, I think. Alright, let's overheat this. That should... And if it really shit comes then we're gonna overheat the wrapper a little bit too. Then the DPS should be less. I also have um, I also have in my inventory some drugs there, and just in case. That shit hits the fan and he doesn't die in time. Alright, now the DPS is getting clear because we have enough velocity built up and we're close enough to their guns that their tracking is actually getting nerfed a little bit and you see a lot of missing shots here and the DPS incoming is less. Don't look at this number, this is just the actual DPS that is coming in after resists. So I'm just gonna stay aligned to my little moon, gonna get my drones in, I'm gonna bookmark this wreck And I'm going to work to it later, after the site has despawned. Alright, drones are in, warping out clear. Didn't have to use drugs, didn't waste money. Used a little bit of heat, but that's fine. Now I'm just going to warp to the safe spot. Or actually I'm going to warp and refit first for Cloaky and it should take around two or three minutes and then you can warp to the wreck and see um, if you got something. Last time I got this wrapper and this thing around 200 mil. That was nice. And it's really fast to run. The first room takes around, I don't know, five to ten minutes. Depends on your DPS and how lazy you are, but uh, it's really fine. So thank you for your attention. If you have any questions, please in the comments below.